Hi there, I'm so excited for today's tutorial. It's all about transferring an image onto canvas. Any image, it can be something that you printed out from the computer, it can be any image that you have. Um, today we're dealing with pieces of paper that are printed out from the computer. This one is 11 by 14, but I'm gonna be showing you eight by 10s and five by sevens as well. First thing you're gonna need is a cutter because when you print them out, they don't always go to the edge. Um, I used a large paper here, but um, my canvas is 11 by 14 and this paper is 11 by 17. So I'm gonna have to cut the white bits off. Same with when you do um, just a regular, you know, eight and a half by 11 size uh, piece of paper from the computer um, printer. You're st this is an eight by 10, so you're still gonna have to cut off some of the sides. So you're gonna want a cutter for that. Scissors just won't get even enough line. And it is a five by seven, so you're gonna have to cut, you know, a lot from the eight by, eight and a half by 11 paper. You're also gonna need some M, 3M glue. It's called Super 77, and you're gonna use that to spray to attach the can the image to the canvas. Then you're gonna use Nova gel, gel medium, similar to a Mod Podge. You could also use a gel medium from Golden. And I use um, Nova paints for their paints and all their mediums. They're way cheaper than Golden or Liquitex, and they're local, and their colors, their pigments on their paints are beautiful. And I find their gel mediums to be exactly the same as Golden or Liquitex. And then you're going to want scraper uh, to scrape off the excess gel medium and a brush to, to brush the gel medium on. You're going to want to wear old nasty clothes because if you get this glue on you or the gel medium, it doesn't come off. You can't get it off of your clothes. So that's why I'm in a ratty old t-shirt. And you're going to want to wear gloves for sure. And I like these thin gloves because if they get messy and dirty, I could just take them off and put on another pair. It's not like I have to go and wash them every time because they do get messy and dirty. This is a very messy job, but it's such a great idea. You can make the best gifts for people. You can make art even if you've never made art before. It's a really, really cool thing to learn. You're also going to need something to attach it to. I typically use canvases. And um, this is an 8x10 canvas. The canvas is wrapped around stretcher boards, so it's nice because somebody can just hang it right on the wall. You don't, need a, you don't need to put a hanger on it or anything. So I like these for that. And I like them because I've perfected this science of attaching paper to them. I have had a store for years, and I'm an artist, so when I printed my prints, this is how I did it. Um, my customers wanted prints that were on canvas and it was virtually impossible for me to print directly on the canvas, not costing a fortune. So I figured out how to print on the paper and then attach it to the canvas. So you can really make some unique gifts from people. You can print out a piece from their Facebook page of their wedding or of their child for a birthday gift. It's, I mean, possibility is endless and I'm going to walk you through my house afterwards and show you all the art that I've created for my home just by doing this technique um, not to mention all the artwork in my store and the girl that bought my store still orders the artwork for me so it's it's a great thing to learn I'll show you all the things you can do with it so my image is cut it's my beautiful big brother and I have my canvas here you do want to put something on the back of the canvas now is the time to do it before you finish the front because you don't want to flip it over and mess with it so I'm just gonna spray this onto the canvas and the best way that I have found to do it is to start in the middle and spray a bit in the center just down the line in the center or take the print and attach it to the canvas and it's only gonna attach in the center because that's where you put your glue. But I found that that's the best way to do it because otherwise it gets all stuck on the edges and you can't quite get it right. But 
you, you place the paper on it with just the glue, the spray glue in the center so that you get it centered and make sure the edges are all covered. And then go in, lift it up and spray under here and then set it down. It's all glued on here. I could, I could pull it off, but you don't want to. You just want to completely leave it glued down, okay? And you can't just give it to someone like this because any drop of water, anything that gets on it, it's gonna ruin it because it's just a piece of paper. So we put the gel medium over it to protect it. So you take your gel medium and you take your brush and you put it into it. I'm using a very big brush. I like to work with big brushes, it's just me. Just I find that with this stuff, the fewer brush strokes you make, the better. So I get a pretty good amount on it. And I start in the center. So you wanna start right here in the center. Work your way out. So see how I only put my brush across there like eight times? That's the most you wanna do. And then you go to the other side, do the same thing running out of gel medium and the key is you don't want to keep brushing 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 over it because the stuff is hard to work with and it gets kind of weird so when it's like this and it's full of gel medium again start in the center and scrape it off and make sure you only do one scrape at a time a little bit in the center here and I'll lightly scrape it. You don't want to push down too hard. Then when you're done with this, you're going to want to take some Clorox bleach wipes. A paper towel that you've gotten wet and without touching the top of the image, just make sure there's nothing on the edges. And so this is going to take 24 hours to dry and as it's drying, it's gonna bubble and get really weird and you're gonna be tempted to like mess with it. Don't touch it. Do not touch it for 24 hours because then it'll, it'll flatten back out. If you absolutely have to touch it, make sure you wet your glove first and then lightly touch it. You know, like if you see a big glob of the gel medium, but try not to touch it. The whole key to this is to work fast and to, and to not go over it too many times. So now I'm working on the five by seven pieces that I printed. And when I do the five by sevens, they're such a small size, I don't like spray in the middle. I spray on the whole thing and then attach the image to the whole thing. And then once you get glue or gel medium on these gloves, just forget it. Just completely throw them away because they're, you're never gonna get it off and it'll just mess up all of your pieces if you touch them with it on there. And as I've said about this product, it's so messy, both of them, that if you get any of the glue or the gel medium on, on your working surface, I, I put paper towels down. Then just toss the paper towels. It's much easier than trying to clean your work surface a bunch of times. Because once you get any of that product on there, it's gonna get on your canvases and mess them up. Oh, and another trick with the spray glue. After you spray it, you're gonna wanna wipe the tip off with a bleach because it, the glue gets stuck on here and then it won't spray straight out. It'll make big blobs all over your canvas. Such tough stuff to work with, but once you get it, it's really worth it. So this is something you can do with something that you print from the computer. This was just a print that I printed off the computer of Marilyn Monroe. And then I had had this frame that had this ugly print in it that I didn't like at all. The background was white and the print was just ugly. So I painted this in this black, laid the print on there like I showed you to do with the gel medium and the glue. And then I, there were edges here, so I just painted them with some black paint to make it look rustic and make it blend in. And I had four. And these are also pieces that I just printed from the computer. Um, they're 11 by 14. 
prints and they're just on the canvas like I showed you to do but then afterwards I took this sparkle mesh and put it around them and it was the picture that I printed but then I looked up her different quotes and then I, I put those on top of the print so Keith had given me this t-shirt that was so cute I, I wasn't gonna wear it as a t-shirt so I thought I'll put it on a canvas so I just stretched it out and I sprayed it with the spray glue like I showed you to do with the pieces of paper from the computer and attached it to the canvas with the glue and then went over it with the gel the frame so I wanted to clip my hair flowers to it and I thought what can I cover this with so I covered it with pink paint and then I took a picture of me that my teacher had taken of me in my aerial yoga class and attached it to it just like I showed you with this spray glue and the gel medium. And then I stenciled over it to do those little swirls and then clipped all my flowers to the edges. So it's just a very unique piece that's in my dressing room, but it's also a useful piece because it holds all of my little hair flower clips. And just another idea for you to see that you can create art, you can create something useful with the technique that I'm showing you. Go with printing something off of your computer. This is a print of my kitty cat and I just attached it like I showed you to do on this canvas. This is like a board canvas that I had and you can also just do this on plain plywood if you want and put a hanger on the back. And then I just painted around him black. And these photographs that I printed and I had these frames I got them on sale and so you know how the frame comes with the uh, board inside of it that you just put in the glass well I threw away the glass and I took the board and I attached the image to the board so now I can touch it I don't need the heavy glass and, and it makes it look like a canvas you know because then you put the gel coat over it and the gel coat gives it a texture. And this is the ultimate transferring images onto canvas. Yes, it's my husband and I, and it's in our bedroom, which is where you should have a nude of you and your lover. I had Kinko's printed out because it's huge. It's 40 by 60. Use the same exact technique to attach it to the canvas. When you print out from the computer, you're, you're using, you know, computer printer paper, but Kinko's, they had like this thicker paper and I was really worried that it wouldn't attach. Well, it didn't attach very well, but it was great because it, it bubbled and got all weird, but I love it because it gave it texture and it made it look old. And I mean, that's just what art is. You have to go with it. So I hope that helps you and I hope that it inspires you to create a unique gift for a friend or a beautiful piece of art for your home. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.